Welcome, Empire fans, to a special podcast of Williamsburg Football, and it is a uh, football season is among us again here at the 2019 football season. Bergfan.com has Coach Rob Woodward on the line. Coach, uh, just want to say uh, what's going on with your team right now. Well, Gene, we're, we're practicing our brains out, getting our guys ready to rock and roll, man. They've been tired of going against one another, and, and you know, we've had a couple tune up scrimmages here, but uh, they've... Uh, they're, they're ready to get out and get the season started and, and uh, you know, show what we got. Coach, you have new places, new faces at new places. Uh, what, how's that transition been for you this year? Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been great. Um, it's been, you know, as always, you, you got guys that uh, have been waiting their turn and, and getting an opportunity to step up and, and uh, show what they can do. And, and our coaching staff does a great job of, of evaluating everybody and trying to find who's best. Um, what skill sets they have that best fits in to what we need to do. And then at the same time, we really do a, a good job, I think. And, and again, I've got a great, great assistants that are trying to adapt what we do to the skill sets and the level of uh, skills that our players have, trying to always put them in the best situations for them to be successful. And, uh, you know, we've been working through that. We've been you know, throwing some things out and adding some things and, Looking at it, that's been the beauty of our offense and defense over the last few years. We've been able to uh, really kind of be in a, 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 an amoeba that can really shift and, and shape ourselves based on uh, what we have and who we have and, and uh, what our opponents uh, uh, bring at us. Coach, you had a, a really good uh, preseason scrimmage schedule as far as uh, the, the level of team that you played. What did you learn from your, from your two scrimmages that you had? squad scrimmage they ended up in a 3-3 uh tie basically uh and, and what i found out was we had you know good depth we had a lot of guys around moved on into the chill coffee scrimmage and and our guys were again hungry to get out and and, and to hit somebody else aside from ourselves and and i thought they did a tremendous job of just uh, staying very simple and basic with the things that we were trying to do and, and working on executing i told him i said i want to be good tacklers good blockers and take care of the football. And we did all three of those things. I think the turnover margin was a, a plus three in our favor, plus four in our favor, actually, in that first scrimmage, along with some good gang tackling, along with good blocking. So those are all things you want to see early on. Then we moved into a, a scrimmage with Granville that was more of a game-like situation, and we wanted to see the ability to transition on and off the field. You know, the new 40-second uh, play clock is something that brings a new element to the game. It's going to really speed things up. Uh, for how, how the game is going to go. And, and uh, we've been trying to prep ourselves for that and, and be ready for that. Uh, we've always been a fast-paced offense, but you know this even puts the, puts the gas on it a little more um, for what we need to do and how we need to be able to transition on and off the field. But um, Granville, a 10-2 team from last year, uh, really the only – they, they had uh, defeated Johnstown last year. They defeated Jackson last year. They graduated, I think, around 20 seniors. So, uh, again, a Division three program. They come in, <clears throat> Coach Buttermore, uh, very disciplined, great coach. Uh, he was at Tri-Valley the year we went to the state championship. Uh, he had Tri-Valley uh, against Trotwood Madison there in, in uh, the state final game. And, uh, again, he's very experienced, well, a good, very good coach, uh, his son at quarterback, they were a good football team. Um, they had a lot of skilled position players. They really spread the ball around on the perimeter. I thought our guys flew around and tackled again well. Um, made mistakes in areas, and we were able to correct those, especially early on, and then respond to some adversity. Got down a couple uh, scores there early and then responded. And as we moved throughout the scrimmage and came out the second half, I saw our team really start to rise up. I saw it. Uh, coaching take place and our guys respond to the coaching. So those are all the kind of things that you're looking for in a scrimmage early on um, to be able to evaluate your players and, and see where they're at and get them exposure and experience to different things. And, uh, you know, all that entails and preps us for uh, what we'll be facing here getting ready to kick off the season. You mentioned the 40-second clock, and I know that's a different rule change this year. Do you anticipate any uh, inconsistencies with that, uh, just with how that's going to be ran? It's going to be a work in progress. Uh, you know, I heard, heard from some Indiana officials that they were uh, begging for us to get it because they were afraid it was going to be thrown out. 
and if I hide it and start doing it at theirs, and they, they feel that it's really enhanced the game there in Indiana. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh, I think it's going to be a different element. I think I think our team, uh, in the style that we have been accustomed to, running the fast pace, um, I, I think we're going to be, be good with that transition now. I don't know how that will work with everyone else. And, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some officials that are going to have a hard time with the adjustment. I'm sure there's going to be some teams and clock operators and, and just everybody involved. You know, that's a, that's a, a really a big, big uh, part of the game and, and how it can change. But, you yeah, know, we'll see. The game's always evolving, always changing, trying to find ways to keep, keep uh, as many participants involved, safety, all that kind of those kind of things. So, you know, I'm not in the in the uh, uh, realm of, of exactly a chance to make all those big decisions, but this is one we've got and we've got to go with, and, and uh, I think our team will be ready. Coach, the uh, first uh, part of your schedule, very, very tough. Um, that, that, was, that was intentional, and you guys will relish in trying to, to knock off some of these top teams. Um, what do you do to stay healthy throughout this, uh, these hard, hard games? Well, I think we're doing a great job of stressing the conditioning and the nutrition uh, that it takes um, to, to get our teams uh, through the gauntlet of the schedule, as you mentioned, Taylor. Um, you know, we're always looking to schedule games as early as we can, and some of these teams were scheduled up four years ago even, and then we ran into situations where we had to, you know, go with what we've got going on. But we always want to expose our guys and challenge our guys. Uh, that's why I tell them all the time. We're, we're working to get growth, and we want to make sure that we're continuing to grow as a program and, and uh, you know, get better and better as a program. And that, that means putting ourselves in challenging situations. And it makes our coaching staff better. It makes our players better. And it makes our overall um, understanding of, of uh, what we need to do, um, you know, when we get into those late season type things. But as you mentioned, you want to make sure that your kids are healthy and, and ready to go. So we I think we've gotten really good with, with our conditioning and our uh, weight room, uh, how we handle things within the end season and, and different things uh, to, to get our, our players, our athletes, uh, as ready as they can be. And, and uh, you know, uh, part, of it, part of it is rest. And as a head coach, I've got to recognize that. I've got to look at, you know, that balance of making sure they're conditioned but also make sure that they're rested and that they're, they're where they need to be. Um, week in and week out. Coach, any final thoughts before we get off this week? Uh, you know, I'm ready for uh, 2019 season to kick off. Our, our guys, we've got a great senior class that's done a tremendous job of leadership. They're a quiet group. They're not a group that uh, goes out and uh, beats their chest in front of everybody. They just make sure that they go out and they play as hard as they can on the field. And I think that, uh, you know, our, our, our fans are, are excited to be able to see what what's in store um they've been behind some very talented uh, players in the past but our guys are ready to go out and showcase what they can do and and uh you know i'm super excited to to get them out there and get them uh, to get after it get things rolling here and, and uh kick things off this friday that's head coach rob woodward with uh wheelersburg high school there they will take on ironton at ironton kickoff at seven o'clock go Burt.